Hello everybody and welcome to another video preview brought to you by Sound Auction Service. This is of our August 5th auction starting at 5 p.m. Gonna be a great auction, a lot of good stuff this week. Be sure to comment, like, share this video. And let's see what we got. We have some lovely composite heavy duty end tables matching coffee table we have some new mark cd uh, mixers with the digital mixer slide mixer there we have a nice it's hard to see here but it's a wedding gown beaded lace we have some nice pioneer speakers i look these suckers up they sold for 150 to 300 bucks 15 inch speakers have some road ready case and that and also a little stand for the case and it works great for that mixing equipment um, let's see we have a bunch of coca-cola memorabilia and signs over here this is awesome too this is a uh, Charles Wysocki it's a uh, signed and numbered print very very valuable uh, we have a nice chase Heidel recliner there a nice Coca-Cola cooler. It's been refurbished, vintage, very nice, great condition. And here, let's get a better look at some of these signs, some nice old signs. All in pretty good condition. Most of them are in excellent condition. And we have a 52 inch plasma Sony Bravia TV. We have the radio cabinet, or the cabinet radio, possibly, I'm not sure if I put that on or not. We have the painting. Um, that's of a well-known artist too over there. It's uh, Vladimir Shukurkin. Then Winley original oil on canvas. Another beautiful, I like the seascape one, beautiful oil on canvas. And then we have this magnificent bar. Very nice with these fabulous chairs. I love how it's like this crocodile leather pattern to it. And come around here and it's got the wine racks, the glass holders, it's got a cutting board liquor bottle storage and let's see we'll come around here and we got another CK Chin artist original artist sign and we also have this Ethan Allen Hutch beautiful Hutch I don't even want to know how much the consigner paid for this bad boy and we have this great original or handcrafted uh, stoneware pottery Japanese Beautiful, beautiful. Here, let's open this up so we can get a better look here. <clears throat> and this hutch is lighted too. All right, so let's get a nice slow pan here of this. This stuff is nice. And we have this Scott Zweisel. This will be the last time we're running this. Some beautiful crystal. It, I believe it's the Tango pattern. And we have some nice Waterford crystal decanter there candelabra and these are water for crystal too these glasses here water for crystal and some more crystal like hurricane lamps and we have these nice globe warnick um, index card drawers and then some signed and numbered prints here of some pheasants and other birds Let's see, we got this ram here. This ram's pretty cool. J.P. Townsend's the ram. And this is also J.P. Townsend. Then we have this nice armoire. Sadly, it, it is a mirrored front, but sadly it's got a, some damage in the back there where someone used it as an entertainment center at one point in time. Then we have the Esteban electric guitar, acoustic electric. And we have an Esteban amp. And then we have the Guild Sunburst Guitar. This thing is a classic, very expensive. I've seen them sold anywhere from like $800 to $1,600. Then we have the Resonator Guitar here. Very nice. It's a Regal. Nice guitar. And then also this exquisite double barrel, finely carved chest of drawers. Look at that mirror, elegant. Let's see, we have this Star Trek figurine. Oh, more musical equipment up here. Mandolin, got a harmony banjo, another banjo down here. 
Is it, what is that one? This one's Chicago. Very nice. Then we have some tank, um, extreme detail tanks. 21st century toys on most of them, I believe. We got 118th scale, 124th scale, and some miniatures here. Some Viking division, new in package, figurines, some model airplanes, a nice Behringer um, six channel board, mixing board. And we have, oh yeah, these are all Polly Pocket. Large collection of Polly Pocket. And we have a big bin of Legos. Uh, KitchenAid per line, 12 cup coffee maker, some pressed steel Tonka toy trucks here. Do some digging, digging in the yard. Some cast iron enamelware, a nice crystal and iron um, prison candelabra. And this is some of those Longaberger picnic basket there. Nice cloth, silk, handcrafted geisha dolls. And then this beautiful set of fine china. I believe it's a full service for seven. This is a Seye China Harmony House Sheraton pattern. And then we have this Artesia. I can't believe this stuff hasn't sold. This stuff is beautiful. And if you felt how heavy these are, they're like stoneware, very heavy. And then we have the Old Country Roses. We got some hurricane lamps. The handled basket, teacups, single teacups, saucers. Then we have this afternoon tea, country rose, 11 cups and saucers. And this beautiful, uh, I forget what it is. It is uh, cherry bl blossom time. That's what it is, blossom time. Then we have some fiesta, the teal fiesta wear here. Some more fiesta wear, some gold clad cups, saucers, plates. Jadeite cake plate, Linux bowl, and this stuff right here, this stob, this stob stuff is great. Here's a tea kettle, stob tea kettle. And we have this Thomas Kincaid tray too, very nice. And these are great. This is all Spode China, full service for four. We have four different services for four, or no, three different services for four right here. Very nice. And then we have miscellaneous it's teacups and saucers and lunch plates and whatnot and then we have this huge stub enamelware cast iron and this like blue enamelware cast iron wok type of deal and then brass and glass display case some franciscan ware here we have the keurig this thing is nice man these things right this one right here is like 300 dollars new then we have the coffee grinder we have this italian um, hand painted creamer or sugar and um, teapot and this artist signed stoneware potter here I just can't believe this hasn't sold either this stuff is great and then we have some crystal prisms many are chipped unfortunately there are some that are flawless um, but some are chipped and then we have this uh, Westmoreland sterling silver set so look at the case on it it's just awesome case alone's got to be worth 100 bucks and then it's all sterling silver except for a couple of serving pieces the total weight without the serving pieces is i believe scrap value for 800 dollars. then we have this old violin here very nice some roseville or possibly whole pottery i forget i did that was law 52 i did that a lot a long time ago um Yep, it's whole. And then we have, looks like some more Franciscan. Nice fitting like cruet. And also this huge display here, or entertainment center, whatever you would want to use it for. It works great as a display. This pine German display case is also going. Then we have this nice big fish float with the woven rope and some, uh, Seahawks jerseys. I forget the name of this. Oh, Duvetica. Duvetica. This jacket here is a very nice jacket. It's approximately around $300 new, too. Then we have the Realm Reborn bag. 
I believe it was gotten at PAX 2013. Um, oh, there's a date right there. Yeah, 2013. And it's of the whole developer crew signed. Very nice. And we have a Tommy Hilfiger jacket. Nice hiking pack. Let's go around the front. Let's see. We have some Asian sake and uh, chopsticks, chopstick holders, some hen on a nest, some silver plate with a nice uh, flatware case there, some jam jars, jelly jars, some glass handled serving spoons, some a metal chain link belt, some crystal and heisey. Oh, and these little guys, if you, man, you gotta look these up. I believe they're herond. Uh, let me go around, I'll get the exact name here. Uh, yep, Heron, hand painted Heron. These things are <laughs> crazy expensive for these little figurines. They're very cool. Then we have the massive penny bank collection here. Let's see if I can get a nice slow pan so you can get a good idea. And there is so many more. We have three more totes full. This was just like a half a tote. Tons of collectible penny banks. This guy had an amazing collection. Then we have some Ray-Bans. The little Toby mugs. The Briarwood pipe. And these are nice. Fenton uh, English hobnail electrified lamps. And this steam engine uh, model here is great. Oh, and Sobot. This guy works. He's very cool. Does all sorts of things. And we have the Craig, I Craig tablet, the Beats headphones, Dr. Dre Beats headphones, Comet, M. Honer harmonica, the military compass here, some, this is like an antique 1800s uh, Wedgwood right there. And then we have some porcelain um, whales. I forget the name on those. Some more nice. Oh, and this is, I was corrected by the internet, a Japanese officer's um, World War II sword. Very nice. It's got a nice gentleman's cane there, and we got a mortar, a primitive mortar, and old torch there. We have this SOG uh, throwing axe, too. Very nice. And this nice aluminum um, zero. Hal, Hal Burton, there it is, Hal Burton suitcase. And then we have some coins for our coin collectors out there. And then some nice military medallions, some costume jewelry. And we have a bunch of gold rings and necklaces. There's like 13 lots in there. It's hard to see, I know. And we have this K-Pro vintage computer, old school computer. This Kirby G5 vacuum with all the attachments and shampooer. And we have this Ramex kayak. And let's not forget, piece de resistance. We have this beautiful corner shelf with the scroll work overlay. And also the samurai outfit here. Very cool. Very nice. And we have Coach burgundy handbag here or whatever color you want to call it then uh, some comic books and then we have these nice uh, cases full of CDs hundreds of CDs and the cases are amazing in themselves and this I believe this battle foam pack it's full of a bunch of figurines and I think we sold it in our last auction was the Warhammer 40k um, tabletop game and I believe these figurines possibly go to that. Then we have the Dungeons and Dragons Dragon Lance, um, Red Dragon. I forget, forget the name. Um, we have some more comic books, and these are kind of cool here too. Uh, Auto Program Lessons, Cleveland Institute of Electronics. There's like 50 of them. Then we have a Canon movie camera and some camera equipment. Um, Nikkor X camera equipment or camera and then also the Nikkor lens this is a nice lens here um, Seahawks jersey or t-shirt Burlwood clock oh let's 
this is pretty nice too this Calphalon pan rack hanging pan rack and then I believe for the most part that is it we also have the cast some furniture in the center there the panel couches and the lazy boy recliner rockers another nice swivel rocker with ottoman all right so please be sure to like share comment and I hope to see you auction day Friday at 5. Have a good day. Bye.